Okay now, this is a true story. Wendy and I are at the Mondo Mega Monster Mart doing our weekly run for cat food and cat litter for Ms. Kitty. And Wendy sends me to the hardware aisle for something we can use to hang a couple of racks of fighting conch shells on the bedroom wall. As I examine my choices between three quarter inch brads or one quarter inch wall anchors, I feel a tug on my jeans, and I look down to see a four year old child with a really devilish grin yanking on the left leg of my Levi's. As I wonder what his long term tugging goal might be, his six year old brother races down the aisle wielding a three foot strip of counter molding like a lightsaber, complete with sound effects. Just then, Mom enters the aisle, her cart carrying a three year old gnawing on a bottle of Elmer's glue all. While Mr. Tugger continues in his attempts to depants me, Anakin Skywalker slashes at a roll of fiberglass insulation, shouting about how he once needs has to have the Nerf lightsaber with its second secret saber right now, 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 or at least for Christmas. Mom yanks the Elmers out of the three-year-old's mouth and immediately starts screaming, then pins her laser-like eyes on young Anakin Skywalker, grinches up her face, and says, Just remember I'm Santa Claus, so you damn well better be. True story. She actually said all of this, but just in case you missed it. Just remember I'm Santa Claus. So you damn well better be good. Well, she didn't say it that soul. I mean, she was wearing a 2004 Toby Keith US tour t shirt. There ain't no chimney on that double wide. Get your ass back here. Put down that wood. Her kids, of course, ignore her completely and go on slashing, screaming, and tugging at legs, respectively. Now, at first, I felt sorry for this woman carting around this wrecking crew, and I utter a silent prayer for her and her kids. But then she follows up her Santa threat with a string of invective strong enough to make a longshoreman cry. It has absolutely no effect on the kids because they've most likely heard her before. I kind of smile at her, and I receive back a look of pure venom as she reaches out for Mr. Tugger. Get your ass back over here, Vernon, she says, and grabs Vernon the tugger by his left hand, which leaves his right hand completely free. Big mistake. He reaches out with his right hand and, yoink, gets a nice big handful of my left mm, cheek, you know, the lower cheek. And he doesn't let go, and this kid's got one hell of a grip. I grin a somewhat nervous grin as she yanks her right hand free and pushes off after Anakin Skywalker, who is now attacking a row of clay pots in the garden department. At this point, I make my escape, head back over to the pet aisle, and meet up with Wendy, who's loading a big bag of cat food into the cart. I tell her about my experience, and she gives me a, you gotta be kidding me, look. Which, of course, I'm not, as the back of my pants serve as exhibit one, since they're now covered with whatever gooey crap Vernon the Happy Tugger had on his hands. We head to the checkout aisle and start bagging, when who shows up but Ms. Santa and her crew. Blue Kid is now covered in Elmer's, Anakin is still going on about getting a lightsaber for Christmas, and Vernon is eyeing my butt again. We pick up the pace, but not before Anakin whacks a carton of eggs out of the cart and onto the floor, at which point Wendy gets her first-hand view of Mama Claus as she lets out with another blue streak and says, Just remember I'm Santa Claus, so you're whining, better stop. Anakin whines something anyway about how he has to pee and why can't she just buy him the lightsaber right now? Your daddy's laid on child support Ever since he started dating that car And then he says he saw another Santa outside the store and maybe he could bring it instead. So the only bit of guy you'll see Are on daddy's tapes of ZZ so as we head out to load up the trunk, we're both figuring there's a song in here somewhere. And as I load up the trunk, Wendy starts singing. Let me show you something. When we get back home, we ain't got no chimney on that double wire we don't own. Just remember. Santa loads up her entire crew to a 1994 Ford Ranger and nearly backs over before she feels out. But at that moment, I see the lone bumper sticker on her truck with only three words on it. Ho, ho, ho. And seeing that bumper sticker caused a light to go on in my head. Hell, I might have to reconsider everything I knew about Santa Claus. Just remember I'm Santa Claus. So you damn well better be good. Hey, 
it's been a tough year. What if Santa was forced to downsize, move to Callaway, and take up a secret identity? Just remember I'm Santa Claus. Show you damn well. Better be good. And maybe we bought into a myth. Maybe he is really a she. I mean, what if it's true? I'm keeping all my lumps of coal. Again, that would mean that in reality, I had just been groped by an elf.